Hey what's up everyone, it's your name, and welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Today, we're diving headfirst into the exciting world of ethical hacking with five must-know tools that can be found within Kali Linux. Now, before we get started, it's crucial to understand that ethical hacking is all about identifying and fixing vulnerabilities in systems with the owner's permission. It's like being a digital detective, using your skills for good to make the internet a safer place. We're talking about responsible disclosure, folks, finding a problem and reporting it so it can be fixed, not exploiting it for malicious purposes. So, buckle up as we explore five powerful tools that will give you a taste of what it's like to think like a hacker, all while staying firmly on the right side of the law. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility, and we're all about using our powers for good here. First up, we've got the big daddy of penetration testing frameworks, Metasploit. Now, Metasploit is like that one friend who's got a tool for everything. Need to scan a network for vulnerabilities? Metasploit's got you covered. Want to simulate a real-world attack to see if your defenses hold up? Metasploit can do that too. It's seriously impressive. What makes Metasploit so powerful is its massive library of exploits and payloads. Exploits are basically clever bits of code that take advantage of known vulnerabilities in software, while payloads are the instructions that get executed once an exploit does its job. Think of it like this. The exploit is the key that unlocks the door, and the payload is the party you throw once you're inside. But Metasploit isn't just about brute force. It's got a modular design, meaning you can customize it to your heart's content. Want to integrate it with other tools like Nessus or OpenVS for even more comprehensive scans? No problem, Metasploit plays nicely with others. And because it's open source and has a massive community behind it, you can bet your bottom dollar that Metasploit is constantly being updated with the latest exploits and features. Metasploit can be a bit daunting for beginners, but trust me, the learning curve is well worth it. There are tons of resources available online, including official documentation and tutorials. And once you get a handle on the basics, you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility so use your newfound Metasploit skills for good, my friends. Next up, we have NMAP, which stands for Network Mapper. And it's exactly what it sounds like, a tool for mapping out networks. Now you might be thinking, why do I need a Network Mapper? I've got Google Maps for that. But trust me, NMAP is on a whole different level. It's like the difference between looking at a map of a city and actually walking down its streets, peeking into every nook and cranny. Nmap lets you discover all sorts of juicy details about the devices connected to a network. We're talking IP addresses, operating systems, open ports, you name it. It's like having X-ray vision for your network, allowing you to see what's really going on beneath the surface. But Nmap isn't just about passively gathering information. It can also be used to actively probe networks, looking for vulnerabilities that could be exploited. Think of it like a scout venturing ahead to map out the terrain and identify potential weaknesses in the enemy's defenses. One of the things that makes Nmap so versatile is its scripting engine. You can use Nmap scripting language to automate complex tasks, like scanning a range of IP addresses for specific vulnerabilities or even attempting to fingerprint the operating system of a remote device. It's like having a little army of digital ants, all working tirelessly to gather intelligence for you. Nmap is an essential tool for any aspiring ethical hacker or cybersecurity professional. It's powerful, versatile, and relatively easy to learn. Plus, it's available for free and open source, so you can start mapping out your own digital world without spending a dime. Now let's talk about Wireshark, the ultimate network protocol analyzer. If Nmap is like a map of your network, Wireshark is like a high-powered microscope allowing you to zoom in and examine the individual packets of data that are flowing through your wires. Wireshark captures everything, and I mean everything that's happening on your network. We're talking web browsing, file transfers, emails, even those embarrassing cat videos you thought you deleted. It's all there, laid bare for your viewing pleasure. But don't worry, Wireshark isn't just about snooping on your roommate's internet history. It's an incredibly powerful tool for troubleshooting network problems, analyzing application performance, and even identifying security vulnerabilities. One of the coolest things about Wireshark is its ability to decode different network protocols. 
A network protocol is basically a set of rules that govern how data is transmitted over a network, and Wireshark understands them all. This means you can use it to see exactly what's happening at each layer of the network stack, from the physical layer all the way up to the application layer. Wireshark can be a bit overwhelming at first, especially if you're not familiar with networking concepts, but don't let that scare you off. There are tons of resources available online, including official documentation, tutorials, and even entire books dedicated to mastering Wireshark. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be amazed at the insights you can glean from your network traffic. Moving on, we have John the Ripper, a password-cracking tool that's as legendary as its namesake. Now, before you start sweating, remember that we're all about ethical hacking here. That means using tools like John the Ripper to test the strength of our own passwords and systems, not to break into other people's accounts. John the Ripper is a brute force password cracker, which means it tries every possible combination of characters until it finds the right one. It's like trying to guess the combination to a safe by spinning the dial over and over again until you hear that satisfying click. But John the Ripper isn't just about mindless brute force. It's actually a very sophisticated tool that uses a variety of techniques to speed up the password cracking process. For example, it can use word lists, which are basically giant dictionaries of common passwords, to try out the most likely candidates first. It can also use techniques like rainbow table attacks, which pre-compute the hashes of millions of passwords to dramatically reduce the amount of time it takes to crack a password. Now, you might be thinking, if John the Ripper is so good at cracking passwords, doesn't that mean my passwords are worthless? Well, yes and no. John the Ripper is a powerful tool, but it's not invincible. The best way to protect yourself from password cracking is to use strong, unique passwords for all of your accounts. That means using a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols, and making sure your passwords are at least 12 characters long. Last but not least, we have Aircrackang, a suite of tools that's dedicated to all things Wi-Fi. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wi-Fi hacking? Isn't that illegal? And yes, you're right. It is illegal to hack into Wi-Fi networks that you don't own or have permission to test. But that doesn't mean we can't learn about how Wi-Fi security works and how to protect our own networks from attack. Aircracking is a collection of tools for monitoring, attacking, testing, and cracking Wi-Fi networks. It's like a Swiss army knife for Wi-Fi security, with a tool for just about every task you can imagine. One of the most common uses for Aircracking is to capture Wi-Fi handshakes. A handshake is basically a series of messages that are exchanged between a device and a Wi-Fi router when the device connects to the network. These messages contain the network's password, which is encrypted, of course. But with enough captured handshakes, Aircracking can use brute force or dictionary attacks to crack the encryption and reveal the password. Now I know this might sound scary, but it's important to remember that Aircrack Ung is a tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. In the hands of an ethical hacker, Aircrack Ung can be used to test the security of Wi-Fi networks and identify vulnerabilities that need to be addressed. But in the wrong hands, it can be used to steal data, spy on users, and even launch more serious attacks. That's why it's so important to protect your own Wi-Fi networks. Make sure you're using a strong password and consider enabling WPA2 or WPA3 encryption for an extra layer of security. And if you're really serious about security, you can even invest in a Wi-Fi security auditing tool that will help you identify and fix vulnerabilities in your network. So there you have it, five powerful tools that can be found within the Kali Linux distribution and a glimpse into the world of ethical hacking. We've covered a lot of ground today, from penetration testing frameworks like Metasploit to network mappers like Nmap, protocol analyzers like Wireshark, password crackers like John the Ripper, and Wi-Fi security tools like Aircrack Eng. Remember, ethical hacking is all about using your knowledge and skills for good to make the internet a safer place for everyone. So, if you're interested in learning more about cybersecurity, I encourage you to check out the resources mentioned in the video description and explore the vast world of ethical hacking. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Until next time, stay curious, stay ethical, and stay safe out there in the digital world.